In this video, we're going to create ceilings using two different methods. The methods we have available to us are automatic ceiling and sketch ceiling. With automatic ceiling, we will set our type from the type selector, pick the offset, and then we can automatically place ceilings within bounded rooms. With sketch ceiling, we're automatically taken into a sketch mode. And we have the same process where I can pick the type of ceiling. But instead of automatically placing it, I need to draw the boundary line. This will be the ceiling for our hallway. And you can see I'm just tracing out the outline. And once I have the continuous boundary with no intersecting or overlapping lines, I can finish the sketch. And it draws a ceiling as well. With the ACT ceilings, a model pattern was applied. And with that model pattern, what we can do is we can adjust it using the Move tool to either have a tile centered or to keep it by default with a grid centered within the room. For the gypsum board ceiling, you may notice that there's not a pattern applied. To apply that pattern, I can go to Edit Type, edit the structure of the ceiling, where you can see that the finish applied is gypsum wallboard. If I select that material and then click the Browse button to go to the Material Browser, you can see that gypsum wallboard does not have a surface pattern set to it. Now, the best practice here would be to not override this material because it's also probably being applied to some of our walls. So what I'll do is I'll right click, duplicate the material, and I'll add ceiling as the modifier to the end of the name. And from here, I can then go ahead and I can add a pattern. In this case, I'll use sand dense. And I'll hit OK get out of the dialog box, and you can see we now have a ceiling placed in our hallway. 